Good morning. So I decided that I'm gonna just start vlogging like daily. Not every day, but like in a day I'm gonna vlog and then I'm gonna just put it up that night because lately I've been vlogging and then I wait to edit it and I start getting on myself for little things about whatever human things like I'm sure everyone does it you start thinking oh I can't show this I can't do this da 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 when it's supposed to be a diary of my day my life so I'm just not I don't care <laughs> I'm just gonna post it so um today is officially the first day of my vlog prep I'm gonna name I'm gonna call this serious determination because that is what I have found in my life I never in my life had determination ever 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 for anything and I'm really excited because I feel like um, the Lord's really showed me determination in my life for a lot of things not not competing and getting a trophy that's not what I'm talking about and I'm not doing this to get a trophy I would never put myself through a prep to do to for a plastic trophy no because <laughs> this is a lot harder than I ever thought it would be and it's not even like the food or the eating it's every other emotion that comes with it in my life it just intensifies every other thing that's happening in my life and emotion and it's gonna make me stronger so I'm very excited for that and I'm very excited to share with you guys how I'm feeling um, when I'm feeling happy when I'm feeling sad what is what's affecting me because you know I wondered a lot of these things a long time ago when I wanted to prep and I wondered how to, um, I just wondered a lot of things that I didn't know, even though I was a personal trainer, yada yada, I still had questions and no one would give me answers. I feel like they gave me like 90% of the answer and then they were like, oh, okay, well now you have to pay, you know, $500 for this. So I'm going to share my knowledge and what I know and um, all the little prep secrets that you guys are probably wondering maybe because I wondered <laughs> and I have it's and I'm not going to share anything that um I that my coach would not want me to share so I'm not sharing my macros and I'm not going to share um I do my own workouts so I can do that but when he gives me a workout I won't share that um but I will try to lead y'all in the right direction because I'm certainly not doing this for money. I mean, I have like two followers, so whatever. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so I'm gonna have some coffee this morning. Yes, I'm having coffee. Ah, I know, I don't drink coffee very often, but I'm having coffee. I might even start drinking it again. <laughs> Organic, of course, and then some almond milk, so. Um, anyway, so today's check-in for my coach. I'm going to check in and um, this is my third, fourth check-in, third week. Um, so actually third check-in, but um, this week my weight has been haywire. Up, down, up, down, like fluctuated like three, four pounds. I mean, I was like 133 on Sunday and today I'm like 134.8. But all week it's been like 136, 137. And I can totally contribute to that to, um, for me, dairy. I put dairy in my diet this week and, um, process, and some processed foods. And I mean, my body just 
like I just don't feel good when I eat that stuff at all. I feel a lot better when I'm eating whole foods from the earth. So my weight fluctuated a lot. Plus stress, maybe not enough sleep. Um, all these things can contribute a great deal of weight fluctuation during your week. So if you are fluctuating like three or four pounds, don't go change your macros. Don't go and be like, oh no, I have to lower my macros now. Don't do that. <laughs> you'll mess yourself up. So just chill out, maybe eliminate some things that might be bloating you, drink a lot of water, and then reevaluate in 10 days. So that's my advice to you. That is what I've learned this week. And I'm gonna drink some coffee outside and enjoy my morning, and then I will see you guys in a little bit. Regarding a few comments on my uh, keto grocery haul, it was back like five videos when I was doing keto, and um, you know, saying that like you can't or there's other things that you can eat, you because I was saying that there's only one bacon that you can have, and I meant from Whole Foods. Um, and any store around where I am, I have not been able to find a bacon that has, that is like clean, that doesn't have like added sugar. Um, that's just the meat. And so, um, there was a comment about that. So I had to address that, which thank you very much for commenting and, um, addressing that so that I could correct myself. I'm sure that there are other uh, brands of bacon that don't have sugar in them and that are clean. I just haven't found them. Um, I just really try to live a lifestyle of eating whole foods, no processed foods, and as clean as I can get it. That's just something that I have started to do in my life pretty recently over the past year. Um, it is expensive. Yes, it is expensive. But I choose to put my extra money into food. Now, I didn't always have extra money either. So I want people to understand that I didn't always have extra money to spend on food. Okay. It actually was not up until about, I think it was two months ago that I actually got a car. <laughs> It's not like I'm like some rich person and I have all this money to eat whatever I want in organic. I just have learned to save my money and use my money in the way that I feel is gonna benefit my body. And that's just how, how I choose to live. You can go to any store and you can get the same foods that I showed in that video. You can buy the same exact stuff. I always say it's better to um, it's better to try to do something the best you can than to not do it. Uh, you know, I didn't have a lot of money at uh, many points in my life. Um, even last year, my power got shut off for 24 days. That, but anyway, I mean, I camped in my house for 24 days. You know, I didn't have power. I went to the gym and I showered. I went to the coffee shop every day and charged my phone. So, um, you know, and I mean, I could go on and on and on. When I was younger, it was a lot worse. You know, I have come from nothing. So I just wanna let you guys know that, you know, I'm always saying organic this and organic that, but it's just because um, I've come a long way and I used to treat my body like trash, you know? Um, there's a lot behind that. I'll share that at a different time, but I'm just not willing to do that anymore to myself. And um, I've just had to learn through my really bad experiences in life and not being told really um, what I should be doing or not listening. My mom probably told me when I was little, but I just didn't listen because I didn't care. 
wasn't important to me, but it is to me now. So anyway, um, you know, I just want you guys to do best that you can with what you have because that's all you can do. And then you can just strive to, you know, get to a different point in your life if that's where you want to go. If you don't want to do that, if you just, if you're fine with what you're doing, then that's great. I support that. Do what you need to do to be happy and healthy for yourself. You know, I'm putting myself out there and it's really, really hard for me because I'm just trying to be like vulnerable and open and honest with you guys. And um, I don't want to like hide hide any of like the hard things in my life and that's why I kind of just said what I said um and if you think that this bikini prep is easy it's not easy it's not easy at all it's really hard um uh, I still I, I'm just kind of like flying but flying by the seat of my pants right now like as soon as my coach tells me I'm ready to go ready to go on stage in like three weeks whatever I'm going trying to be a better me trying to achieve things and I have such determination to be able to prove to myself that I can do things that I was told I would never be able to do I have such determination for that that I want to be able to do that and show you guys that you can do the same thing because I was told a lot of my life that I can't do you're not gonna be able to do this or that or you shouldn't do this or that and it being told that completely stalled me I just didn't do anything I just was going through the motions of life and I was stagnant for so long and there was a lot of abuse in my life in many different ways. And I also abused my body a lot in high school and after that <laughs> um, with, you know, alcohol. Um, I just really have determination in my life to change more than I ever thought I could. And I know I'm going to do it. And I already have so much. I have changed so much in the last two years. You're not the same person that you were when you were little. You're not the same person you were in high school or college or whatever. You're always evolving. You're always changing. And your parents can't tell you who you are or what you're going to amount to. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your sisters, your brothers. And be careful what you say to others too because words can really hinder a person and I know that you say or people say oh you're in control of you know what you think and all that but if you're never really taught that then you don't know you don't know what you don't know so don't assume that people all have grown up like you if they have grown up in great poverty with nothing there are people that have been locked in basements you know and then they come out of the world into the world and what are you you're gonna expect them to know what to do you can't so my point is <laughs> is you know determination finding what really matters in your life and going for it and I just want to motivate people and I just want you guys to go for what you want in life I don't care if you think it's not achievable because my whole life has felt like that and I am just so excited that I actually grasped the feeling of knowing I can get something, knowing I can achieve something and having that determination. So anyway, I'm getting a little emotional now. So anyway, the whole thing that kind of sparked this was the, the YouTube comment. And I try to respond to all my comments and um, you know, even if they're mean, and I'm not saying that was this person was mean at all, because they weren't, but I've, I've had some people that have been really mean. It's whatever, I don't really care, you know. People are gonna be mean, and they're gonna knock you down, no matter what, and regardless of what you do. So why not just do what you wanna do in life, and go for it. Just tell yourself in the mirror every day. Look in the mirror and tell yourself every single day that you can do it promise it works. I learned that in therapy a long time ago. <laughs> but if you tell yourself, 
your brain recognizes your own words that come out of your mouth. So you're hearing it, you're thinking it, and you're saying it. So you say that every single day and it'll change your life, I promise you. Promise you, I promise you. So that is the end of my video. I hope that you all get something out of this because I'm just kind of putting my life out there for you. And I, if it helps one person, then I'm happy. So, all right guys, see you later. Have a great night.